Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be continuing with touch events. In prior videos, we've learned how to change properties of a part that we touch, like this. We've also learned how to change the properties of other parts in the game, so that when I touch this part, some property of this part changes. And in today's video, we're going to be learning how to change player properties, so that when I touch a part, something about the player changes. Okay, let's dive in and see how we can do this. Okay, so to get started with this video, go ahead and add a part into the game. Any size and shape will work just fine. After you do that, go ahead and click on your part, and then find it over here in the Explorer menu. Then go ahead and click on the plus sign. We're going to be adding a script onto this part, so go ahead and start typing script until it pops up in the menu. Next, we're going to delete the print hello world message, and we're going to start writing our code. Just like in prior videos, we're going to start by saying local part is going to be equal to script dot parent. And what this does is it creates a reference for our part so that in the future what we can do is say part dot and then whatever property that we want to change. Next we're going to be making our function so we're going to say local function and next we need a name for our function I'm going to call it player and then we need parentheses we're going to do something a little bit different though. So in prior videos we didn't include anything inside the parentheses, but this time we're going to include a parameter, which is kind of like a variable that we're going to use later on in the function. So in this case, you can call it whatever you want to. I'm going to call it body part because I think that makes the most sense for what we're about to do. Okay, for now we're going to leave the function empty and set up the rest of our touch event. To do that, we're going to say part dot touched colon connect and then inside the parentheses will be the name of the function just like that okay and now what we're gonna put inside the function is a line of code that will remove whatever body part touches the part so for example if the players leg touches the part then that leg will disappear to do that we're gonna use the parameter that we defined above so we're gonna say body whoops and I just noticed I said body parent instead of body part so we're going to say body part, not parent, colon, destroy, and then parentheses. Okay, so with our touch event, whatever object touches the part, that is going to be stored in this parameter body part. And then what we're going to say is body part, so whatever part of the player touches the part, we're going to go ahead and destroy that part or remove it. Okay, let's go ahead and run our code and see what this looks like. Okay, now that I'm in the game, let's go ahead and slowly walk up to the part and see if I can get just a leg to disappear. And there we go, my legs are gone because they touched the part. You can still walk around and it looks kind of funny, but whenever part touches this part here, it removes it. So let's do something just for fun. Let's go ahead and make this part larger so that it can touch other parts of the body. There we go, so we made it taller, and let's see what happens when we touch this part now. Alright, so let's go ahead and have our character run into the part. Let's see if I can do this piece by piece. Oops, so his arm is gone and his hair is gone. Let's see if I can get the other arm. Okay, so now we have no arms. And let's just go ahead and run full speed into the block and see what happens. Okay, so eventually as you touch more and more parts, your player eventually dies. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at some other parts we can change with this. So now that we're back in the script, let's go ahead and take a look at another property of the player that you can change. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the body part, but we're going to get rid of the colon destroy part. After the body part, we're going to say dot parent. So this gets the parent of the body part. So basically this is the character. After that, we're going to reference its humanoid part. And from there, we're going to change its speed, which we do by saying walk speed. And let's go ahead and set this equal to 5. I believe the normal walk speed is somewhere around 16, so the number 5 should make the player considerably slower. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so now if we run into this part, your walk speed is changed to 5, which is much slower than the normal walk speed. Okay, in reverse, you can use this to make the player faster. So if we go back to script, instead of 5, if we change it to something like 50, 
This should make the player a lot faster whenever it touches the part. Okay, so I'm going to touch this part. And now I have a lot more speed than I normally have. So let's head back to the script real quick and see if we can take a look at one more property that we can change. Okay, so in addition to walk speed, you can also change the player's health. So we're going to keep the same first part. So we're going to keep body part. We're going to keep parent and we'll keep humanoid. And this part right here, we're going to change to its health property. And let's go ahead and set this equal to zero. So basically what this is going to do, whenever the player touches the part, it'll set the health equal to zero, which will mean the player will die. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, let's go ahead and bump into this part. And there I go. I oofed. All right, so this is going to be the end of this tutorial. So what we've done so far is we've done different types of touch events. We've done touch events for changing properties of a part that we touch. We've changed properties of other parts in the game. And in this video, we looked at how we can use touch events to change properties of the player. So there's a lot you can do with this, a lot you can add to your games. So I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.